El 6 de diciembre del 2023, Italia anunció su retiro de la Iniciativa de Red de Infraestructura de China, la Ruta y la Franja, BRI por sus siglas en inglés. Italia era el único país del Grupo de los Siete, la organización de las economías industriales más grandes del mundo, que era parte de la Iniciativa de China. La alianza se firmó en el 2019, pero tras la decisión de la primera ministra italiana Giorgia Meloni, el acuerdo finaliza en marzo de 2024. En entrevista con Expediente Público, el secretario general del Comité Mundial para el Estado de Derecho del Senado italiano Matteo Angioli explica qué hizo que el gobierno de Italia abandonara el programa de China. ¿Por qué Italia decidió primero adherirse a la franja y la ruta? The idea was to seize the momentum that China was having and the Chinese growth that was undeniably there to uh, develop the economic uh, well-being, the economic uh, profile of Italy. And uh, that's why the uh, then Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte agreed to making higher a bigger step than other countries which had bilateral agreements by deciding to step up the uh, relationship with a memorandum of understanding to join the BRI by Italia logró beneficios económicos de este programa de China economic development the uh, trade uh, volume that they were supposed to be achieved didn't realize wasn't achieved so expectations were much higher than the actual possibilities and the actual uh, in reality so uh, the government decided to step out to withdraw from the memorandum of understanding the uh, trade uh, balance is very clear we increased our exports italian exports with China of just a few billions, whereas China increased at least twofold. ¿Cómo cree que tomará China la decisión de Italia de salirse de la franja y la ruta? I'm not sure that uh, the uh, uh, Chinese Communist Party will uh, uh, retaliate immediately. Much remains to be seen in terms of bilateral agreements that uh, Rome and Beijing will sign in the next few months. There are a few, there is one visit which should be taking place in the next, next year in Beijing from my Prime Minister uh, Meloni and we'll see what it will lead to. ¿Qué mensaje da Italia al resto de la Unión Europea al retirarse de la llamada Ruta de la Seda? Well, I think that in a way Italy set an example um, by withdrawing from the uh, memorandum of understanding. We know that China is uh, dealing with bilaterally with every each and every uh, of 27 member countries of the EU. I think that it's collecting less than the Chinese Communist Party expected to collect in the long run. ¿Y cómo deben tomar el ejemplo de Italia los países latinoamericanos que están unidos a China? So, I would tend to privilege all kind of agreements that tend to shrink collaboration with this Chinese government because the lack of reciprocity is not to be underestimated. So, give way, uh, prioritize all democratic country, especially in this historical juncture. Al menos 20 países de Latinoamérica y el Caribe están adheridos a la franja y la ruta, un programa denunciado por los graves daños ambientales que deja a su paso y el alto nivel de deuda con China para países en vías de desarrollo.